My name is Karen and I am a community health worker. I'll be showing you the main devices used to deliver asthma medications and how to properly use them. There are three main types of devices used to deliver asthma medications. A metered dose inhaler, a dry powder inhaler, and a nebulizer. Using each device correctly is very important so you get the medication deep into the lungs. The meter dose inhaler, or MDI, is the most recognized device used to deliver asthma medication. Some people may also refer to it as their inhaler, pump, or spray. An MDI contains two ingredients, the mist that contains medicine and the propellant. It's important to mix the medicine and propellant well before each use by shaking the inhaler for several seconds. You must also prime the MDI the first time you use it and when it hasn't been used for a while. To prime a meter dose inhaler, shake the inhaler well and spray two puffs into the air away from your face. It's important to check the instructions and frequency for priming that come with your inhaler. To use an MDI, check the dose counter on the inhaler to know how many doses are left. Remove the cap from the inhaler. Shake the inhaler well. Sit straight or stand up. Breathe out to the end of a normal breath. Put the inhaler in your mouth and make a tight seal with your lips. Start to breathe in slowly and at the same time press the inhaler. Take a slow and deep breath. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Exhale slowly through your mouth or nose. If another dose is required, wait at least one minute and repeat steps. Rinse your mouth out thoroughly after taking your dose and spit out the water. Coordinating your breathing when pressing down on the inhaler can be difficult. If done incorrectly, most of the medicine sprays on the tongue or the back of the throat instead of going into the lungs. It's recommended that everyone who has an inhaler also use a spacer or valved holding chamber to make sure that all the medicine gets deep into the airways. There are chambers made for infants, toddlers, school-aged children, adults, as well as for the elderly. To use an MDI with a chamber, remove the cap from the inhaler. Shake the inhaler well. Sit straight or stand up. And put the inhaler in the chamber, in the rubber ring, at the back of the chamber. Take a breath in, and then breathe out. Place the mouthpiece of the chamber in your mouth. Spray one puff of the medication into the chamber. Take a slow, full, deep breath in. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Remove the spacer from your mouth. Exhale slowly through your mouth or nose. If another dose is required, wait at least one minute and repeat steps. Rinse your mouth thoroughly after taking your dose and spit out the water. If a chamber with a mask is used, make sure a tight seal is made around the face and mask. Spray one puff of the medication into the chamber. With the chamber mask in place, take five to 10 breaths in and out. The next type of delivery device is a dry powder inhaler, or DPI. Dry powder inhalers do not require the use of a spacer or valved holding chamber. They do require a deep, forceful inhale to actuate the medication or push the medicine deep into your airways. 
Dry powder inhalers should not be shaken. They do need to be kept in a cool, dry environment. To use a discus, check the dose counter on the discus to know how many doses are left. Open the discus by placing your right thumb in the thumb grip and then clicking the discus open. Click the lever back to prepare the medication for inhaling. Take a breath in and blow it out away from the device. Keep the discus level and make a tight seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. Take a fast, deep, forceful breath in. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Remove your mouth from the mouthpiece. Exhale slowly through your mouth or nose. Click the discus closed. Rinse your mouth out by taking a sip of water, swishing it around in your mouth, and then spitting it out after taking your medication. The Flexhaler is a dry powder inhaler. When using the Flexhaler for the first time, you should prime it. To prime, take the cover off. Twist the brown grip back and forth two times. It's not necessary to do this again after the first use. Hold the Flexhaler by the brown grip and twist the cover off. Check the dose counter to know how many doses are left. Keep the Flexhaler upright with the mouthpiece facing up. Twist the brown grip fully in one direction and then the other. You will know you have done this correctly if you hear a click. This will prepare the medication for inhaling. Take a breath in and then blow it out away from the device. Turn the flexhaler sideways and make a tight seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. Take a fast, deep, forceful breath in. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Remove your mouth from the mouthpiece. Exhale slowly through your mouth or nose. Repeat if more than one puff has been prescribed. Place the cover back and twist it into place. Rinse your mouth out by taking a sip of water, swishing it around in your mouth, and then spitting it out after taking your medication. This is how to use a twist haler. If you are unable to get the white plastic lid off, it's an indication that your twist haler is empty. Check the dose counter to know how many doses are left. Keep the twist haler upright by holding the twist haler by the pink grip and twist the white cap to remove it. This will prepare the medicine for inhaling. Take a breath in and blow out away from the device. Turn the twist haler sideways and make a tight seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. Take a fast, deep, forceful breath in. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Remove your mouth from the mouthpiece. Exhale slowly through your mouth or nose. If more than one dose is prescribed, wait one minute between doses, place the white cap back on the device and repeat steps. Rinse your mouth out after taking this medication by taking a sip of water swishing it around your mouth, and then spitting out the water. This is how to use the recipe click. Check the dose counter to know how many doses are left. Make sure the cap is closed before each dose. Hold the inhaler upright as you open the cap fully. Open the cap all the way back until you hear a click. This prepares the medication for inhaling. Take a breath in 
and blow it out away from the device. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth and make a tight seal with your lips around the mouthpiece. Breathe in deeply through your mouth until your lungs feel completely full of air. Do not let your lips or fingers block the vent above the mouthpiece. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Remove the inhaler from your mouth. Exhale slowly through your mouth or nose. Check the dose counter to make sure you received the dose. Close the mouthpiece after each use. If you need another dose, close the cap and repeat the steps. This is how to use a nebulizer. Place medication into the medicine cup. Screw the nebulizer lid onto the medicine cup. Insert the angled mouthpiece into the nebulizer. Attach one end of the tubing to the compressor or air source. And connect the other end to the nebulizer. Switch on compressor. Check for airflow through the device. If you are using a mask, you want to make a tight seal around the nose and mouth with normal breaths in and out until the mist stops. When the nebulizer starts to sputter, the treatment is over. If using an inhaled steroid with a mouthpiece, rinse the mouth after use. If using an inhaled steroid with a face mask, rinse the face and mouth after each use. Clean the nebulizer according to the manufacturer's instructions. The inlet filter for the air compressor should be checked every four weeks.